Hello, my name is Joshua Tomsic and I'm with the Alaris Group IT department. And what we are going to be doing today is we are going to be covering how to get a document scanned from your HP OfficeJet 8600 series to your Mac based computer. <clears throat> now to do this, uh, it involves scanning it from your scanner to your local machine. With this Mac based environment, we are not able to scan directly to our server environment. And so we are going to have to uh, bring the document into your computer and then export it to the server. So essentially it's making it a two-step process. Uh, so the first step being getting it to your machine itself. And to do so, um, I'm going to be showing you that uh, first. Now, uh, what we need to do is we need to get to our scanner uh, and get the document to our local machine. Now, there's two ways to do this. The first way is to go to your Apple window and then System Preferences, and then go to Print and Scan, <clears throat> and then by clicking Scan and Open Scanner, and it's going to bring your opening to your scanner window. Now you're going to say, I went through that awful fast, uh, and that is because there's a much easier way to do it, and that is by going to your Print and Scan window. It could be on Print or Scan, does not matter, and by simply clicking and holding the printer icon and dragging it down to your quick launch dock here at the bottom. And what that will do is that will add an icon OfficeJet Pro 8600 series. Once that is done, <clears throat> you can lose all those clicks by simply just clicking on it once and it will open up another window that says what do you want to do uh, or essentially what do you want to do. It's gonna, you're going to click on the scanner icon here and it's going to bring you to that scanner page with two clicks instead of 13 or whatever it was. <clears throat> now, once you get to the scanner page, what you are going to be looking at here is essentially the presets or the settings of what your document is going to be once it is scanned. Uh, the first setting being scan mode. We're going to scan it through the document feeder. If by any chance that you want to scan in like a picture or something of that nature, you can switch it to your glass <coughs> by dropping the down arrow here to flatbed. Uh, kind, we're going to leave it at black and white to save space. Resolution, uh, you can change it to color if need be. Resolution, we're going to keep it at 200 dpi, which is how clear the document will be. Our size is going to be letter. Now, where are we scanning to? We're going to scan it to my documents. Now, bookmark this uh, because we're going to need this later. Scan to my documents. Name, we're not going to name it just yet. In format, we're going to save it as a PDF and combine into a single document. What that combine into a single document means is that you are going to be able to scan in one document with multiple pages. <clears throat> this is the most efficient way for us to label our documents by and to get them to the server. We don't want to, if we were to not check this and we put in five pages, it would scan them in as five separate documents, but it would label them in numbered format. And so if you click combine into a single document, you're going to be able to take a five-page document, one document, put it in, and it's going to scan it as, in as a whole. Whereas if you put five pages in that are five separate documents and you uncheck this, it's going to label them whatever you have, number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, you're not going to be able to tell. <clears throat> so please combine these into a single document, and that is going to make sure that all of your pages that you scan are going to be combined. Uh, now, what we are going to do uh, is once these are done for the first time, they are going to save. As you could tell when I opened this up, they were there. I didn't have to change anything. So the only thing that you're going to have to do when you come in here is you're going to have to label your document. And right now we're going to label this one test. Then once you have labeled your document, made sh double checked your settings, you're going to hit scan. <clears throat> now your document is going to show you that it's scanning on the left hand side. As you can see it says scanning document test page. <clears throat> Now on the bottom, it's going to show you a progress bar. That progress bar is going to go from the left to the right and then fill. And when it's all full, it is complete. Once it's complete, it's going to show you a preview of the image on the left-hand side and say no document loaded because there are no documents in my feeder tray. Now you can close out of that, <clears throat> and you can close out of your OfficeJet Pro menu. Um, Okay, so that is completed the first step. We have essentially 
got the document from our scanner to the computer with no issues. Uh, now the second step <coughs> is we need to export the document from our server or from our computer to the server. And to do so, I need you to go to the Nfuse page. <coughs> Excuse me. And from the Nfuse page, what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that you have Outlook open before you open anything else, so that way it doesn't open with any issue. And then I, my Outlook is open down here in the bottom right, and I'm going to open up my documents. Now, I'm going to open up my documents because I need to go from the server to my computer. <coughs> Excuse me. And to do so, bringing up my documents is going to allow me to go from the server to my local machine. Uh, now that you're in your My Documents, we need to get we need to navigate to your computer itself. And to do so, you're going to see your navigation here on the left-hand side. Uh, and where we want to go is we want to go to Computer. And you're going to hit the plus beside Computer if it is not already. If it is already, you'll see a minus. Now, where do we need to go in here? There's a lot of options. Uh, we need to go to your hard drive on your Mac, whatever series it is. So for myself, we're going to go to Local Disk C, which is my hard drive, on Josh's MacBook Pro. Uh, example, it would, might be Local Disk C on Candy's MacBook Air, or your name, MacBook, whatever series you have. Uh, and so once you find your name with Local Disk C, because that is the default drive or letter for your hard drive is C, you're going to click on that. And it's going to open up another window. What I like to do is we're going to be using the drag and drop method. And so I'm going to move this to the right. And I'm going to move this window to the left. And so <clears throat> now I have my local disk C up here on my navigation menu, uh, up or my, my address bar. Uh, I'm going to be able to see where I am. I went to my computer, local disk C on Josh's MacBook Pro. Now, you have a lot of options here on the right-hand side, but only one is pertinent to you. Now, if you look at this, you see applications, etc., home, library, net, system, temp, user information, users, variable, and dev. Now, where we need to go is users, and I'll kind of explain this. We just scanned in a document on your computer under your profile. Now, under when you started up your machine, you entered in your password that you created when you first started the machine. That means that you are going to be you created a user. We need to get to that user. And so I'm kind of pounding this, but it needs we need to go to users to get to your username. We're in your computer, but now we need to get to your user profile. So we're going to click users, and as you can see, I only have one user. That's my name. It should be your name if you labeled it correctly. Uh, now go ahead and double click on your name. And as you can see up here at the top on my address bar, I'm under Users Joshua Tomsic. Uh, and under here, I have more options. Applications, Desktop, Documents, Download, Movies, Music, Pictures, Public. Bookmark coming back, we save that document in our Documents folder. Um, we made sure and selected your documents when we scan that in uh, to this documents folder. So we are going to select it. And there it is. There is your document that you just scanned in. And so what we are going to be using is the drag and drop method. And so uh, what I suggest is that on the left hand side you get to your destination folder that you need to be in um, for your whatever document that you created. Don't ever just drag and drop it into a folder. Don't highlight, don't highlight a folder like this because you're never going to be able to see the output of that file. If I open up Alaris Tech here and I drop this in, it's going to confirm the output of this file. It's going to say copying and it's going to show me that file. If you were to drop it into a folder, it's just going to say copying and it's just going to, you're just going to see that folder highlighted. Now, now that your document is on the server, we essentially are done with this document. So we can close out of My Documents here on the left-hand side. <clears throat> now, this is uh, just a quick hint, is that you can leave this test.pdf on your computer <clears throat> as it is encrypted if there is confidential information on it. 
But if you scan in a lot of documents while you work, you are going to get this very full. And so it's very easy to just find test.pdf because it's the only thing in there, the only document uh, in there. And so if you keep it clean, it's really easy just to drag and drop to wherever it need be uh, with only one document in there. So I like to two-finger click my document or right-click and delete. Now that is going to send that to my trash can on my local computer itself. Now that it's gone, uh, we can close out of this and we are done scanning. Now scanning, just a quick sum up here, was a two-part process. You brought it in from your scanner to the computer and then we exported it from your computer to the server using your My Documents folder on the Enfuse page. Uh, if you have any questions about scanning, please email the help desk at helpdesk at alarisgroup.com or call the help desk line, which is 218-336-4740. Thank you for your time today, and have a wonderful day.